Hello everyone, we are Tom and Melissa from Kentucky. Today we are going to make taco soup. Now, I like this soup because it's what I call a dump soup. Literally, you just open it and dump it in and it makes a soup. I'm going to go ahead and start it before we talk about what we need because I want to get this started. This is one pound of ground beef. Now we've gotten ground chuck, but any hamburger will work. You just need one pound. So let's get this open and get it in our pot here and get it started. This recipe is really good for making for a crowd because it's easily doubled tripled, quadrupled, ever how much you want to make. Um, it's and that's- a long time since we've made a single. Yeah, it's honestly, we're awesome. making a single batch today and that's unusual. Um, we almost always at least double it, sometimes triple it, quadruple it, especially if our kids are coming home and we're making it to have with them or if we're taking it to a potluck or we have friends coming in. Um, and you know, it, we make enough to fill the pot. The good thing about it is that if you double it, triple it, quadruple it, whatever you do, and you have some left, this freezes really well. It's, um, it's a great soup to have in your freezer and you know, you get home from work or you've been out doing something and you need a quick meal. It's easy to grab this out of the freezer, stick it in the microwave, heat it up and have a meal on the table real fast. Let's talk about what else you're going to need to make this soup while that's starting to brown. You're going to need one can of black beans. This is 15 ounce can. This is the only ingredient that you're not going to just open and dump in. The black beans must be drained and rinsed. So that's the only thing you're not gonna just open up and dump in the soup. You also are gonna need a 15 ounce can of pinto beans and a 15 ounce can of great northern beans. These are my favorite beans. Um, and you might think, wow, that's a lot of beans to put in a soup, but it's really not. You'll see that it's, it's really, it's just a, the right amount of beans. And beans are good for you. They're good for your heart. I just read an article by the American Medical Association talking about that. You're also going to need a can of Rotel tomatoes. And I forgot to switch this out, Melissa. I've got the mild, but we've decided we're going to use the hot since we're just making it for us. Normally, if we're making it for company, we use mild, but since it's just gonna be for the two of us, we're gonna use the hot, so I'll switch that out in a minute. Then you need a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes and a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. You also need an 11 ounce can of shoe peg corn. Now you can use any corn you want to, and I'm gonna tell you shoe peg corn is awesome. It's tender, it's sweet, it's small kernels, it's our favorite corn. But any corn will work, but about an 11 ounce can. It's really good for soup though. This it's perfect good. for soup. Then you're going to need a 15 ounce can of beef broth. You're going to need one packet of taco seasoning. And if you're like me and buy it in tubs, um, that's two tablespoons or one packet. And you're gonna need a packet of Hidden Valley Ranch Mix. And again, that's two tablespoons. Then to put your soup together, you're going to want some tortilla chips and you'll just crunch these up in the bottom of the bowl. You'll see that in a minute. And then to top your soup, you can use some sour cream and some shredded cheddar. All right, let's go back and stir our hamburger a little bit. It's starting to brown. It is giving off a little grease, so I will drain that before we start the soup. You don't want that grease in your soup, so. I'm just going to keep cooking this, and when the hamburger is completely done, I will drain it, and then we'll be back to put all the other ingredients in and let you see us finish the soup. We'll be back in just a minute. Our hamburger has been browned and drained, so now let's drain and rinse our black beans. You 
you have to rinse and drain these because you just don't want the juice that's on there in these on these beans to be in your soup so I just always put them in some kind of a sieve or a colander and shake them around get all that off there rinse my sink out shake them a little bit and dump them in to my soup now everything else just gets dumped in juice and all don't drain anything so there go our pinto beans make sure we got them all here go the great northerns i love those beans and we did switch it out for the hot rotel when it's just the two of us we usually either use hot or the original. In goes the tomato sauce. We like it to have a little kick, but not everybody who eats with us does. Right. If you're not sure about the people who are eating with you, you probably want to go a little light. Okay, our diced tomatoes with the juice. And your corn with the juice, although this corn never has a lot of juice on it. All right, and you know I'm not gonna leave that corn down in there. That's better. And our can of beef broth has to go in. Then of course we need our spices, our taco seasoning and our Hidden Valley Ranch mix needs to go in and that's it we're just going to heat it up stir it around it really is a simple recipe but <laughs> it's one of our favorites we said that about everything i know but it really is good yeah it really is you know i've got another trick for you um if you're going to go to the trouble to brown your hamburger I like to do several pounds at a time and then divide them up into uh, freezer bags and put them in the freezer. So, you know, this would be a really easy soup if all you had to do was take some browned hamburger out of the freezer and let it thaw or stick it in the microwave and let it get thawed enough that you could get it out of the Ziploc baggie and throw it in this pot with all these others. Makes it super fast. Really fast. So, you know, if you're at work and you think, oh my gosh, what are we having for dinner tonight? Oh, that's right, I've got hamburger in the freezer. I'll just throw a pack of that in a soup pot, throw in these other cans. And I mean, really, most of what's in here, you've probably got in your pantry. I would think just about everybody keeps tomatoes and corn and beans and beef broth. Um, so, you know, it's really easy to throw together. That's it. And doesn't that look wonderful? Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's hungry. I am hungry. I am. It's time to eat. When we got ready to make the video, what'd you say? So we are going to have this for lunch, right? <laughs> yes, we are. And what we don't eat today will get frozen. And my favorite way to freeze it is, again, in freezer bags. If you just take a freezer bag... Whatever you think you're going to need, you can use a quart sized bag, a gallon sized bag, and just put as much in there as you can get in comfortably. Get all the air out of it if you can, zip it shut, and then lay it flat in your freezer so it flattens out, and that way you can stack them on top of each other. And when you want soup, take it out, stick one of those in the microwave for a few seconds, get it thawed enough you can break it up, stick it in a soup pot, and warm it up for dinner. It's a great meal to have on hand. All right, I think this is warmed enough that we can at least try a bite, if you want a bite. Well, I'm gonna have more than a bite. <laughs> I know you are. I'm going to have lunch. All right, and I like plenty of juice. 
I like the soupy part of it. All right, so here we go. And I'm if you want to come over here. Oh, I know what I didn't do, Melissa. You forgot to put your chips in. I forgot in the my box. chips in the bottom. Well, we'll start over. Grab another bowl. This is the part that makes it really good. And these are our favorite chips, by the way. We really like these cantina thin and crispy chips. So just take a few, crunch them up, put them right in the bottom of your bowl. I want a little more than that. Since this is going to be my bowl. And then put your soup right on top of those. And I like to top it with a little dollop of sour cream. Everything's better with sour cream. <clears throat> Here come my Kentucky allergies again. A little bit of sour cream and a little bit of cheese. And you've got soup. I hope you try this soup. I think you'll find that it's really easy to put together. And I think you'll find that it's really delicious. If you make it and you feel like it needs a little more seasoning, put some more taco seasoning in it. Put some more Hidden Valley Ranch. We think one packet of each, which is two tablespoons of each, is just right. But adjust it to your taste. Fix it the way you like it. All right, let's have a bite of soup. Oh, it is hot. I can feel it through the bowl. I was afraid maybe it wouldn't have time to get warm. That is so good. Mm. I will tell you that you can just put a dollop of sour cream on top and get a little bit in each bite, but I like to stir it in. It does change the color of the soup a little bit, but I like it stirred into it. Mm. That's delicious. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We really do appreciate it. We appreciate the kind comments that people leave. It makes our day when Melissa checks the comments and we have several. And I don't usually check them, but she does and she responds to them. But she always reads them to me. So we do appreciate getting those. I would appreciate if you'd go right below the video and click the thumbs up, give us a like. And if you haven't already, Click the subscribe button and the little notification bell. That just helps us build our channel. Remember, you are always welcome to come sit at my table. Have a great day. By the way, it is Taco Tuesday. Have a great day. <laughs>